Welcome to Spreadsheet Server 101. In this video, we will guide you through the steps to quickly create a report using Spreadsheet Server. First, ensure you have the latest version of Spreadsheet Server installed. Then, open Excel. It's that simple. Spreadsheet Server automatically authenticates against your user account every time you open Excel. Once authenticated, you will have immediate access to all the functions available in the Spreadsheet Server ribbon. From here, you can start creating your reports with ease, leveraging the powerful tools and features of Spreadsheet Server. Now, let's move on to report creation. To get started, click on Formula Builder on the Spreadsheet Server ribbon. When you input your values in the Formula Builder, this creates a GXL formula. A GXL formula retrieves account balances in a specific format for a reporting period. Here are the format types you can use. PER is the activity for the selected period. QTR stands for the activity for the periods included in the selected quarter number. DQTR is the activity for the periods included in the selected daily quarter number. YTD is the activity for periods one through the designated period number, excluding the opening balance. LTD stands for the activity for periods one through the designated period number, including the opening balance. Range is the activity for a range of periods specified. For balance types, you can use A for actuals and B for budget. Enter values in these segments that pertain to your company's chart of accounts. Click the dot 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 button next to a segment value to display a list of values for each segment. Select the invert sign checkbox to display the negative values as positive values in the worksheet. This feature is typically used for revenue balances, though it's not standard across all ERP systems. Once you have selected the appropriate formula, press Insert. This will insert the GXL formula into your spreadsheet. The GXL formula will then calculate and retrieve the account balance from your ERP system. Now that you have inserted a formula into your spreadsheet, modifying your report is straightforward. To create a template, simply copy the formula, paste it over, and modify the parameters as needed. It's as easy as copy, paste, and modify. You can observe how the formula changes with modifications in the year and format type. Copy the values you need and update the description accordingly. Once you have done that, change the account range to see the updated values. Remember, for records other than revenue, you don't need the negative values. So, manually remove the negative signs from those records. This way, you will have the correct values displayed without any negative signs where they are not required. Let's dive into the various ways you can insert segment values to customize your report. Enter a single value to retrieve a balance for a single account. Enter multiple non-sequential values, separated by commas and within hard brackets, to retrieve multiple account balances. Enter the first and last value in a range, separated by a period, to retrieve a balance from a range of accounts. Enter a range within hard brackets, followed by a comma, a forward slash, and the excluded account to retrieve a balance with exclusions. Enter the start of any accounts followed by an asterisk to retrieve a balance using a partial mask. Next, let's explore the powerful drill-down capabilities of Spreadsheet Server. This feature allows you to dive deeper into the balance and journal details behind any balance that contains a Spreadsheet Server formula, such as GXL or GXE. To drill down to the balance level, simply click on the Drill Down button in the Spreadsheet Server ribbon. For a more detailed view, you can drill down to the journal level. Right-click on a row in the balance level, drill down panel, and choose ad hoc queries or journal list for selected accounts. Spreadsheet Server also supports multi-cell drill down for comparison. To see details behind more than one balance in a row, highlight any two or more cells that are side by side and click on drill down in the Spreadsheet Server ribbon. Multi-cell drill down will automatically create a variance column in the drill down panel, allowing you to compare details easily. Spreadsheet Server also allows for burst drill down details in Excel immediately. Highlight a cell or cells to drill down. Then from the ribbon, select the drop down under the drill down button, click on worksheet and select results. With cell burst drill down and journal burst drill down, 
you can quickly access detailed information. Next, let's look at the Expand GL Row feature. This allows you to display your balance detail below the balance summary. To use this functionality, select a balance with a formula in it and click on Expand GL Row on the Spreadsheet Server ribbon. You can expand by each segment or by all rows, giving you a detailed view of your data. To remove the balance detail, click in the blue balance and then click on Collapse GL Row. Now let's talk about data refresh. Spreadsheet Server balances refresh when the workbook is first opened. The default option will update the current workbook, but there are other options in the dropdown depending on how much data you want to recalculate. The Data Refresh button will perform a data refresh against your data source. If a new journal entry has been created in the source system, this button will ensure that the new entry shows up in your reports if Excel is already open. Finally, let's explore some other useful functions available in the Spreadsheet Server ribbon. Recalc recalculates formulas in the workbook. Execute reports runs detail reports for GXE and GXEXD formulas. Summary drill down a more specific way to drill down. Hide rows hides GXL rows where all values are zero. Lookup provides lookup shortcuts and quick queries. Tools assists in finding segment values and saving rollups into segment lists for future use. Enabled toggle spreadsheet server access on or off. Distribute distributes reports. New control sheet creates and manages a distribution list. These functions enhance your ability to manage and customize your reports efficiently. And that concludes our Spreadsheet Server 101 tutorial. With these tools and features, you are now equipped to create, modify, and manage detailed reports with ease. Thank you for watching, and happy reporting!